I'm Dave Mercer. I'm Matt Pangrak. And finally, the cull is back in your life. Panger, we have we've been a little late, a little tardy on some of these, but we're back. Let's not schedule dwell on the past. Flicks. Yeah, I mean, there, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Here's this week's cull. Now my phone's ringing. Oh boy, that is so unprofessional. But I'm, it I'm hasn't gonna... rang in so long. <laughs> I mean, you answer it. I'll throw out the question if you need uh, to. I don't answer numbers. I don't know. Uh, nobody does. Isn't that weird? How nobody like in the past people would run to their phone if it rang like a family yeah. phone, and yeah. now and it, you don't even want to answer your door or like how can somebody just? Do you have weird. people that come to your door still? Sometimes, yeah. People just pop yeah, by, say hello. Me you don't have too. that happen? No, I don't. <laughs> Should we do this? Yeah, let's just keep rolling. Okay. Well, no, I'm I'm sure the 2024 Angler of the Year on any of the top-level tours, whether it be the Elite Series, whether it be the Bass Pro Tour, they will mm-hmm. catch more fish on a spinning rod than they will on a casting rod. Keep our call, Panger. It's a layup for me. I'm glad we're coming back. You know, might not be the smoothest on my end as far as the technology and being ready to record, but this will be a pretty smooth answer. I've been a big proponent of a spinning rod for the past five or six years. The dink and dunk, the drop shot, the Nico. Now we have the Demiki. I think we're seeing how effective it is on big bass fisheries. It's always been effective up north. Nine times out of 10, those tournaments are one up north. We're already a quarter of the way through most of the seasons. The majority of the fish uh, have been caught on a spinning rod. And I think you could not even just say majority, which would be 51%. I think you could say three quarters of the fish from the angler of the year will be caught on a spinning rod in both tours. Well, I'm keeping it all the way. There's a lot of bass fishing people that just don't want to hear that. There's the, but, but I'm all in with you. I, I'm a hundred percent keeping it. I mean, I felt it at the beginning of the season and after two events into the elite series season, I feel it even more. I mean, so much so that on day one of live, I said that to Davey Hyde on live and it seemed kind of shocking, but man, two events into the season and there's a lot of fishing left to go, but with the technology arms race, what goes hand in hand with that, is spinning rods and spinning rods are going to dominate all tours in 2024. I am keeping it 100%, but I feel like we're pissing off some hard. I don't think so. I think there's a lot more guys who are accepting it, especially after you watch what uh, Fujita did at Toledo Bend, a six, five rod, 30 pound braid, heavier line on it. It's no longer just in a box of finesse clear water. There's a lot more applications, just like we're seeing the bait finesse system with the bait casting tackle. I think there's a lot of people that are not only being introduced to it, but are becoming more comfortable with spinning rods. And as the equipment technology improves, we're able to see, like, look at Lake Fork, how many of these guys, you know, there were guys who caught them on on bait casting, but how many of these guys are able to handle the bigger fish on the spinning rod so that fear isn't there anymore? And then when you see the top-level guys doing it so consistently, the stigma that was attached to it is now no longer there, too. Everything is a trickle-down in this sport. So what you see at the top trickles down to the bottom. It's a copycat league at the top, too. So the guys who aren't doing it are going to start doing it. And I think it's just, I think it's just a natural evolution towards spinning rod because – the goal is to come in with the five biggest in the most efficient way possible. And right now, with the way things are trending, that's with a spinning rod. So the old term sissy stick and people making fun yeah, of spinning rods. Have done. you it's heard done. of any of that this year? No, I haven't heard nobody much says of any it. of that this year. Exactly. Five years ago, big time different story. I feel like there's some dudes that are lower in the standings that might not like them, but uh it's there's a lot of spinning rod dudes that are low in the standings too, Dave. If you look at it on both tours. All right. It's a new day. Spinning rods are cool. Is that what you're saying? I've always thought they're cool. They're they- not only cool, they are the coolest. Wow. Keeper call. Will spinning rods outproduce casting rods for our 2024 Angler of the Year?